from the south side of Chicago. Welcome to the home of the White Sox guaranteed rate field. Today it's an American League Central Division matchup between the Minnesota Twins and the Chicago White Sox. The Twins will try to complete the series sweep on the road against their division rivals right after this. What's the play ball? Riding in, number 78, and he's really swinging a hot bat in the series, to say the least. Ten RBIs on four base hits. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. Fellas, these White Sox, as they enter play today, they come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, D. Rowe, this has not been the kind of homestand that they would like to have so far. Through the first five games, they're two and three. D. Rowe, getting to 500 on this homestand is certainly a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. Solo shot to right center, and he keeps on going. Number 801 in his incredible career, as the Twins have taken a 2 to nothing lead. I guess the pitchers haven't been talking in the dugout because it looks like they've learned nothing about this guy. He's torched them for four home runs this series, and they're still... Up next is Danny Jansen and he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. The White Sox are still looking to break into the hit column here. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field racing back the right fielder. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Digging in, number 78, as we begin the top of the fourth. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here comes the first pitch. This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His second home run of the game as the Twins have made it a three to nothing ball game. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Now in the box, Kurt oh, Harper. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the White Sox. They trail in this one 3-0. Number 78, We'll stand in looking for home run number three as we take it back to inning number four. And this was his second home run of the game as he's been dialed in so far in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. him up. Vila will wait on it. Two gone. Leading off the inning, Chad Dunn. And they'll need him to get something going here. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some? There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And he will make the catch on the full run. And there's a dandy of an out to start the inning. Hey! 
Digging in, DJ Jenkins. Now He's 0 for 1 thus far. DJ Jenkins. Here now the 2 2. Skied into straightaway right. Under it is the right fielder. He's got it, and there are two down now. Digging in, Luis now Villa. Back. He flew out the in his last baseman. at bat. Luis Villa. The one two. Slap hard the opposite way, but a little unlucky there as it's hit right to him in right field for the final out of the inning. One, two, three, go the White Sox. Still down three nothing. Coming to the plate now, Jarvis Fortune will swing it from the left side right here. Yeah, he's not Fortune. quite as powerful from the left side. He's certainly not Chipper Jones who had pop. Now here's a ball hit high and deep is straight away right field. One, one, one. Gone. Big dogs got to eat. in once again number 78 number he comes in two for three with a couple of home runs thus far on his line first pitch of the at bat fouled off now I'm sure these infielders know it but this hitter can burn down the baseline so if he puts a ground ball in play the defense is going to have to make a perfect turn to turn two Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Lined hard toward right center. And this is going to find the gap for his third hit of the afternoon. Right here, easy, easy. This one for extra bases. And he oh, is in there. This guy just feasts on mistakes up in the zone. And, and that's exactly what he gets right here. A belt high pitch. He drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. So here's the cleanup hitter, Rod the Jansen. Plane. The left fielder, Rod Jansen. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. Well, tough to say if that was their intention or not. But it's not the worst thing that could happen. A force at every base now. So there are a lot of ways to get out of this. For the Stepping in, J.P. Crawford, and he's got an opportunity to add to this lead, but the double play is in order. Ready on 0-2, and, and this is swung on and missed a huge out there as the bases will stay loaded with two away now. Now at the plate, Alex Hayes. He singled his last time up. Ready on 0-2. Swing, and he pops him up, and this should get him out of it. Vila is there as he makes the catch and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded a couple of walks but no damage back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this striding in to start the ninth DJ Jenkins as they'll look to get the something going man. here and even this DJ game up Jenkins. hit the other way out toward right field Right fielder has a beat on it. One down. Well, these guys feel pretty good about themselves, and they should. Anytime you can come into somebody else's ballpark and sweep a three-game tilt, you're doing something right. Great team effort. Three to one, the final score this afternoon. Minnesota jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. R.D. Sanderson takes the win on the mound his second of the year as he finishes seven innings allowing only one hit. Garrett Fitzgerald closes the door for the save his fourth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the ShowNation.com.